making my way towards the biggest hospital in Zimbabwe. They are to a hospital, you guys. Hey guys, good afternoon. It's raining right here in Harare, Zimbabwe, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, hi, I'm Tino Sparks, your favorite African without borders, currently in Harare, Zimbabwe. In today's video, you guys, I am making my way towards the biggest hospital in Zimbabwe. The Parirenya to a hospital, you guys. It's raining, I'm late, but I just want to take you guys along. I'm heading my way towards the bus stop so I can get a combi and show you guys Harare, Zimbabwe. This is my outfit of the day. My Harvard hoodie, black jeans, and my rain boots right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. We are on the road to 20,000 subscribers and it can only happen if you guys make it happen. I am so late and I'm just gonna run to the bus station. Welcome to Parirenya Atua General Hospital, the oldest and largest medical center located in Harare, Zimbabwe. Established in 1890, the Parirenya Atua has over 5,000 beds and 12 theaters in the main complex. The Parirenya Atua Hospital is always packed with masses of people because apart from the hospitalized patients and people who visit the patients, the University of Zimbabwe's College of Health Sciences is based at Parirenya Atua Hospital. A lot of negative things have been said by news channels concerning Zimbabwe's biggest hospital. Thank goodness I'm in the area, such misconceptions need to be addressed right now. So, despite the receding economy, the Parirenya to Hospital, from my point of view, still provides basic health care that's as good as many hospitals in Africa's major cities. And of course, we can't compare healthcare in first world countries because Zim, like many African countries, is a third world country. Because of respect for privacy, I won't be able to show much and I'm also not allowed. But as you guys can see, the hospital staff is adequately dressed, standard health procedures are followed, and believe you me, the wards are spotlessly cleaned. We have been lied to. The media has been lying so much about Zimbabwe's health system. My brother's bedding was clean. It smelled so fresh. And they change it on a daily. And the, I asked him about the food. The food was up to standard. And here's the bathroom in a cubicle of four people. I mean, look at that. It's so clean. Even the white towels on the floor have remained white, you guys. This is what I am talking about. So on the other side of the cubicle is the toilet. It is clean, well maintained. And please share this video. The world needs to see that the health system in Zimbabwe is thriving and doing very well. So I am with my mom right here. 
and yeah we are at the hospital the visiting hour is over so we are about to go to the pharmacy to buy the medication thank you all for praying for my son until we found our boy thank you so much for your prayers bye yes. bye so right now we we'll continue praying for him until he gets better um we hear he's got an infection or a problem with his kidneys I don't have much information because there wasn't a doctor to actually explain everything but thank you so much you guys for praying with us I couldn't feel much in the hospital ward because privacy matters of course Hi guys Hi guys Hi guys So we are going home Today was a very successful day so please tell my people to subscribe Please subscribe to Dino Sparks. Yes, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Bye.